Okay, so we have a customer here, and I've ran into this a couple times. I couldn't find any information online, so I figured I'd make a video on this real fast. So we did repair to his air suspension. It needs to be filled with nitrous, um, and it uses a really expensive tool. Um, so anyway, I figured out a way to work around that. And so what we do is we're going to come to the rear driver door. We're going to open it up. Your air tank fitting is going to be behind the seat right there. And so the tool is initially really expensive from the dealer. Not even all the dealers have it. So what I've done is I took an air gun and an R134A uh, quick connect for one of the small cans. I cut it and hose clamp it on there. Um, when we do this, we can pump compressor air into our tank. Um, this by itself, our compressor will not actually pressurize this to the where the system needs it to be though. I think it needs to be around 200 PSI or something like that. So the trick to this is you can actually get the Jeep's compressor to do this for you. And you need a scan tool. And when, when it's sitting on the ground, uh, this is an Autel uh, Maxisys. And you go to special functions and the um, ASCM, this is the uh, air ride control module. And then you can go to fill spring from reservoir. Okay. And so what we're gonna do is, is essentially, we're gonna go to each spring individually. So I go to the front left and we're gonna go short time fill. And so after a few times doing this, you'll hear the compressor turn on and the engine bay. What this is gonna do is use the car's air compressor to actually pump up the struts to a higher PSI than is achievable by my regular air compressor. Um, so what we're doing is essentially giving it air mass in the back here, and we're gonna use the car's compressor to actually pump it up to around 200 PSI. Um, so you're gonna have to go around each of the struts a few times um, usually like three times give or take is for me for the system to fill up and uh, eventually you'll have enough air in there that the uh, air mass low the air mass code will go away you clear the code start the car up and it should auto calibrate the heights uh, anyway uh, I had this problem a couple times now and I couldn't really find any information on it this is definitely the easiest way to fill it with an air compressor I've done it on a few different customers cars with no problems so hopefully this helps somebody out.